Hello and welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to create this retro type style invitation postcard in Illustrator from scratch. So we're going to go through how to make this little effect going on here, making the balloons and laying everything out in an organized fashion. So in order to get started, I've already pulled the colors that we're going to use. Um, this particular invitation that I created, I put it up on Graphic River. Um, I'll leave the link if you want to check out any of the extra details there. But for this one, we're going to use the coral color scheme. So I'm going to go through each of the colors that I used if you want to use the same colors. So this coral color is 06570 in 1 for the CMYK. Here's the blue, 420413. This is just a, a lighter shade of the blue, 2307 and 11. And then this, this one's kind of an off-white, 0, 2, 5, and 5. So I'm going to copy all of this over onto a new document so we can kind of create it together. But it, we'll speed it along because then I can just pull text right off so you can see it right away. So I'm just going to copy all of this. And when you go to create your new document, go File, New. This is going to be 7 inches wide by 5 inches high, and I've got a 0.125 or 1 8 inch bleed on all sides since we've got color that extends beyond um, the edge of the postcard. This is CMYK since we're going to be printing it, and because of that, um, the industry standard is 300 ppi for print resolution. So once you have all of that, I'm going to hit OK. And I'm actually just going to zoom out a little bit and paste all of my assets over here so we can kind of keep an eye on what our final result is while we work. So I like to be pretty organized when I when I start making a template. So in my layers palette over here, right now you can see I've got everything on layer one, but um, we're just going to leave that there for now. We'll delete it later because that's our guide. So this first layer is going to be our background layer, so I'm just going to la label it background. And I'm going to grab my rectangle tool by hitting M on my keyboard, and I'm just going to draw it out. This red line is your bleed line. Okay, and you can see over here right now it's got a fill of white and a stroke of black, and we don't, we don't want to stroke at all, so if I just click on the stroke and I hit this little none, it goes away. And then I can click on the fill, so now while I'm selected on the fill, I can hit I on my keyboard and just click on this coral color and it fills the whole thing. I'm going to hit V to go back to my selection tool, go back to my layers palette, I'm going to lock this background since whatever we're doing on top of here, we don't want it to move, so now it's locked. So I'm going to create a new layer. In this layer, um, let's get our type all set. So this font, I'm using all free fonts on here and um, I'll leave it in the description for the video where you can pick up all these free fonts. So this particular font is called Cubano. So I'm going to type um, you're invited. And as you can see, I've got it on two separate lines. So I'm just going to drop this down a line. And this is going to be the blue color. So I'm going to hit I on my keyboard, select that, go V to reselect this. Uh, I'm not sure what size I'm using. Let's see. Looks like about 80 points. So let me make this 80 points. And I'm going to change this to Cubano. OK. And if you ever, um, like if you have center aligned text or left aligned, you can, uh, or right aligned, this is where you can do it pretty quickly right here. So I just want to match what I've got going on here. Let's see. 80 points, about 84 points. So this is. Um, this is your letting right here, which is the distance between your lines. So you can see it decrease this amount of space right here. So now we've got this all set up. And I'm going to draw a guide. And in order to do that, I need my ruler. So if I hit Command R or Control R if you're on a PC, you'll see your rulers. And I'm just going to click and drag. And let's do it at like, let's see, 3 eighths, I think. And just drag this over. Okay, so now that we have this, this layer is going to be called Your Invited Solid. And now we have to do the outline. So I'm just going to, with this selected, I'm going to hold Alt on my keyboard. And I'm just going to drag up and drag over 
and now that makes a copy and I want this to be an outline so if I come over here all I have to do is hit this arrow and it'll switch it and if I click on the stroke and then I hit I on my keyboard and I hold shift it's a lot of directions at once um, and then click this it'll change it to that color so I'm gonna hit V to go back to selecting this I'm gonna come over to my stroke palette and let's see two looks pretty good um, so this is kind of high up so I'm just gonna use my arrow keys to kind of knock it down a little all right so that's looking good let me just knock everything over all right so let's label this outline because I don't really want to touch these anymore I'm gonna create a new layer in order so this right now is on this your invited solid layer and the way that I know it is once it's selected you can see this little green box right here that tells me which layer it's on and since I don't want it on this layer anymore and I want it on this layer all I have to do is click on this little box and drag it up and then release and now it's on that layer so if I turn off this layer it turns off what I just did so I'm gonna label this your invited outline okay so I'm gonna lock both of these so I don't bump them by accident and now let's do the text I'm just gonna copy this text over for the sake of time but we're gonna put it on its own layer and we're just gonna call this type okay so I'm just gonna drag this over I'm gonna hold alt on my keyboard and drag over but when you go to type it out um, I'm gonna bring it to the front you can see it's on this layer right now and I need to bring it up here so this is Nova Cento Sands wide medium 13 and a half points uh, letting doesn't matter because there's only one line but um, this is called tracking the space between your letters um, and when you have space between a lot of letters and they're all consistent that's called tracking if you're tweaking the space between individual letters then that's called kerning so um, anyway so the tracking for this is a hundred and I'm gonna bring over this rule line I'm gonna hold alt and drag over and of course I'm gonna have to um, bring it up again actually I'm gonna make a, a layer called dividers and I'm gonna drag this into the dividers and this is that blue color the darker blue color and it's two points and it's got a rounded cap and a rounded corner okay so let me just show you what these are for the sake of time so this 23 is Cubano about 35 points and it's the same for actually that one's a little bigger so the gray horse pub is about 22 points and the time is the same and then the smaller text is Nova Cento Sands Wide Light and it's about nine and a half points a hundred for the tracking again there's no tracking on the Cubano so and I'll show you how to do this um, arc for the October but first let me just grab all of this and drag it over okay so I need to um, separate all these so all these are types so I just dragged everything into the type but these are dividers so I'm just gonna drag my little box down into the dividers so dividers are good now so I can lock my dividers I'm actually gonna bring them right here okay and this final type is set in I think yeah it's the light blue so all this secondary type is light blue um, and this is Nova Center Sands Wide Medium, about nine and a half points with a hundred for the tracking. And bring this over and put it into my type. Okay, so to do this October arc, um, so we're at about 13 and a half points with a hundred points for tracking. Um, so if I type out October and copy the same setting for type 13.5 okay so we want it to just be an arc right here so if you come up here to this warp this make envelope and then select arc and I'm gonna set it to 20% and then I hit OK 
and drag it down you can see it matches up so that's an easy way to do a quick little arc all right so lastly we have our balloons so let's do the balloons right above the dividers layer so in order to do the balloons I just grabbed my ellipse tool and I just dragged it out I made a no fill on this in the stroke I hit I on my keyboard and then I hold shift and this I think is going to be two points and then I just take the same one I hold alt and then I hold shift on my keyboard and then I just squish it and then um, this is the same 2.25 see this was also 2.25 and just bring this over and make sure it's on my balloon layer which I need to label balloons make sure this is in my balloons layer all right cool so we're gonna just do the same exact thing and these numbers, um, are also the light blue, and then they're set in Cubano, and their size is about 35 points. And let me bring in this too. That's going to be in the balloons. All right. So it's as easy as that. And when I was making this, when I was laying it out, I just made sure. Whoops. Let me drag um, a guide. I made sure like the top of my like gray horse pub matches October and then same thing down here the 23 hit basically the baseline of the other text so it's just good to have things aligning with other things um, so yeah I'll leave the link for the rest of these if you want to check out the other color schemes or see details about it but thanks for watching and please subscribe if you like this tutorial I release a new one almost every week